on this climb, Cadell Evans, and looks as though Nicholas Roach just and hits the back there as well. The gap is coming down at 3.09. It is still not the end of the Tour de France today with a gap at 3.09, uh, but it's going to make it difficult for Cadell Evans, and I think today we saw the end of Alberto Contador in this year's Tour. Well, only one man missing, really, Phil, from the top five, and that, of course, Sammy Sanchez. He, too, will be disappearing uh, from uh, his position in fifth place at the end of the day. Andy Schleck now, Phil, has really got to suffer. But what, what, a day, what a day to suffer, knowing now with every pedal rev and two and a half kilometres left to climb, he's climbing to the Mayo Jean at 3.06, and he started to nibble it out again and back again. They are climbing at the same speed now. They're both finding these last couple of kilometres just about at their limit. Well, I'm amazed by the yellow jersey of Thomas Vogel. I think, once again, the tactics of the race, the way they're riding this race, the tempo riding they're doing, actually plays into the hands of Thomas Vogel. This year's Tour de France will allow this Frenchman to start to dream about possibly coming to the Tour de France next year and trying to win it for France, a title they haven't earned since 1985 and Bernardino. Well, it's been a magical tour for the French in many ways, although they haven't won a single stage. They've certainly flown the yellow flag. At coming up to two kilometres to go, Cadell Evans is now is fighting for his very tour life here. Tomorrow we have one more big day in the mountains, then the time trial. But the way it's beginning to look, Cadell Evans is just going to have to work out how to get rid of Andy Schleck tomorrow in the mountains. Schleck looking over his shoulder, looking down at the uh, the curves and the straight lines a little bit further down the road there, just to see if he can see what is happening. That should be two kilometres to go, that yep. banner they've gone by. Two kilometres to go at the moment, it looks like this. Uh, Thomas Voigtli will stay in second place at half a minute. Cadell Evans will be in third at a minute 48. Frank Schleck will be fourth and Contador, 3.45. And there is confirmation of Alberto Contador. The champion of the Tour de France the past two years is yo-yoing on his favourite playground. And I think that's the end of the Tour de France for him as a winner this year. Well, that's what Andy Schleck felt, you know, Phil. He said that the Tour de France would be decided in the last week of the race. It was all about the freshness. Alberto Contador's got the Giro d'Italia in his legs. Don't discount the man. He's got a huge heart and he's got a huge bag of courage and he's pulled himself back into this group. But yes, he's Pride. having a hard time. Pride has done that. Pride has forced him to come back onto the back of that group. He knows now they're coming up to the last two kilometres of the day. It's been a real tough fight uh, for the champion of the past two years and a three-time tour winner. he come back, but he's gone again. Well, he tried with everything. That was the pride of Spain on his shoulders there, trying to push him back into that group. I'm amazed also by the ride of Damiano Cunigo, the, the, prince, the little prince, they call him, from Italy. He's riding comfortably in that group, and he's going to have his best ever Tour de France finish this year. Well, if he gets 19 seconds on Contador, he climbs over him in the overall classification. That will put Cunigo into sixth place in the Tour de France. I think you might find he'll be up into fifth place tonight because Sanchez has already gone from the group. Evans continues to fight to try and round it out for three minutes before Andy gets up to the finishing line. And look how he's reduced this with his incessant pacemaking. There's only five riders following Cadell Evans now. He's churning a massive gear, the rider in the black and red jersey there, Cadell Evans, because all he's thinking about is trying to reduce the deficit onto Andy Schleck. Alberto Contador, well, he's just got to survive now and try and limit his losses because he could be plummeting down the overall standings and maybe looking at himself dropping outside the top seven or eight. And they will decide to retire from the tour, but I don't think champions do that sort of thing. And Alberto Contador will try again tomorrow, possibly to win at Alp d'Huez. Well, Cadell Evans has finally managed to bring it inside of the three-minute mark, and still no one helping him, and still in contact there is little Thomas Vogler. Well, if it comes down to 2.36, and it's unlikely now, but, you know, Thomas Voigtler may be out of yellow tonight, but we'll be talking by only a few seconds as all the cheers on top of the Col de Glibia now go to this remarkable ride today. One of the great rides in modern times by Andy Schleck in the Tour de France. He took the race halfway up the Iswad, knowing he had to go early, and he took the risk of blowing his whole Tour de France out the window, and it isn't going to be the case. He should get the yellow jersey tonight the chase is at two kilometers to go separated by a kilometer that on the slopes of a mountain like this uh, corresponds to three minutes i just saw the tunnel over to the left hand side and now he's on the final part of this climb alberto contador is on the back foot in the tour de france this year he's never really looked very comfortable at all 
Well, it's a sorry sight to see because Alberto Contador, when he's climbing so well, he's the greatest climber in the world. But I think he's tired, as Paul has said, from the way he dominated the Giro d'Italia. And now this man is getting his revenge. He's looking for yellow tonight and victory in Paris on Sunday. You might just have noticed that uh, all of a sudden uh, the green jersey of Pierre Roland has come to the front for Thomas Vokla. He's going to try and save that yellow jersey in the final two kilometres of today's stage. 2.37 is what uh, Voigtler will not want to see on the clock because that will cost him yellow. But they are so close to defending it. We are now just 19 seconds behind and he could still be in yellow by a second. This is how he lost to, uh, eventually to Lance Armstrong. Well, there's a little word there coming from Vogel. Come on, let's keep this yellow jersey. He's really Evans struggling. Got... Evans is just there. He's come back. They saw that the French did not have that power. The dream was to try and protect the yellow jersey of uh, Thomas Vogel this afternoon, but there was no power in the engine room when they shouted down for it, so it's still up to Cadell Evans. This has been a great fight by Cadell Evans. He's been left alone here. It's been an easy ride for Frank Schleck in many ways in the black there, who's watched his brother fly away today but look now look now two minutes 44 there is still a chance here for Voigtler to keep his lead Andy is just praying for the end of the stage now I think the legs have cried enough is enough he's fighting now uh, yes he's getting time gained but is he going to get yellow but what is he going to do tomorrow he's got to come about and do this all over again as Cadell Evans slowly pulls it back 241 the yellow jersey 240 it's now starting to tip towards the conservation of the yellow jersey by Thomas well, Vogler and he's going have to say a big thank you very much mate to Cadell Evans uh, absolutely 236 and Voigtler keeps yellow and it is tumbling down Andy Schleck is now absolutely on his limit here where or where is the finishing line as the clock continues to descend it is 240 and falling the empty road of the Col de Galibier one man against the field and the clock the clock at one kilometer to go Phil has just said that 235 so Thomas Voigtler has climbed himself back into the overall I leader. I don't believe this is an incredible tour. I take your hat off to this man today. He has been a, 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 the mo most magnificent attacking cyclist in modern times in the Tour de France. Uh, but he's a matter of a kilometre too far. The legs are folding beneath his body here as he comes up to the line. He will win the stage and that he thoroughly deserves and he might win the Tour de France by Sunday. But is he going to be in yellow tonight? Night, or is this incredible Frenchman Tommy Voigtler gonna be in yellow for the tenth day? And he gets it, the clock starts now. Well, he wanted that. What an incredible performance by him. And now it's just a question, Phil, of watching that clock and watch it. Watch out for Frank Sleck moving up here a little bit. Let's not forget they're thinking about getting themselves a first and second at the end. Damiano Cunigo has now dropped off the back, but still a great ride by the man from Lamprey. Two minutes and 37 seconds is the, the time that will be wanted to be seen by Andy Schleck to be the yellow jersey tonight but Five seconds has gone by, 46 and counting, as now uh, Cadell Evans again turns. He needs every second he can get to try and stay in this race because the time trial will favour Cadell Evans. Well, Frank Schleck sitting on his shoulder there. One That's minute. psychologically again, a minute has gone by. Cadell Evans is the one still trying to save the jersey for himself later on in the Tour de France, but also today for Thomas Vukla, who has been incredible on today's stage in the mountains. And Frank Schleck just sitting there they're waiting for the moment to pounce. Well, as we claw and crawl our way up to the top of the Col de Galibier, we are looking for 237, and that will be curtains in yellow uh, for Thomas Voigtler, who will be timed right to the line. He's got to fight all of the way. He knows what he's got to do. He's running now into the last minute to the summit to retain his yellow, 138, and going forward now, he's 100 metres to go. Now, there's no surprise. Frank Schleck has watched and waited. He'll sprint away for second place but watch where the clock stops for the yellow jersey 152 he's got he's only 100 meters from the front he's got a sprint this is going taking the clock back seven years for a uh, little uh, Tommy Voigtler as a uh, Frank Schleck comes away at 204 the gap for him 
Now Evans, he's got it down to just on two minutes. He was 118 behind, now he's a little, not that far behind overall. 2.37, he's going to keep his yellow jersey. Take those pictures back to 2004. It is incredible, Paul. I just don't believe it. What a fighter. Unbelievable. I don't think very many people would have given him a chance of keeping the overall lead this afternoon, but there's not very much in it, Phil. What kind of a day is it setting itself up for tomorrow? Well, absolutely. They have been heroes galore today in the Tour de France. The biggest of them all, I suppose, yes, is Andy Schleck. But this man, 10 days in yellow now and refuses to lie down and Cadell Evans had to fight to stay in the Tour de France today and he's achieved that as well. There are three winners today. There are three winners and I tell you what Phil, it's going to be a very interesting day tomorrow. Alberto Contador at the kilometre to go banner was over a minute behind this group at 3 minutes and 30 seconds so his Tour de France has disappeared and he's all over the road here, number one Alberto Contador. Well, it's a sad sight to see the number one, the man who's won the Tour de France three times. He's looked infallible in the mountains. Tommy Danielson's also consolidated his place in the Tour de France tonight in the ninth overall, but he's closed in as well. Uh, he had a bit of work to do to get higher than ninth. Ryder Hegedal coming in as well. And at the back, we've got Christian van der Velde. So well, they've kept their lead, clearly, they've kept and increased it in the team race for Garmin Savello. Absolutely, they'll be very happy with that, as we can see here coming in high Mars Ubeldia, Yella Venender, but behind him, he'll be surprised to be finishing in front of Alberto Contador on a day like today. And my quick calculation, Phil, is that, in fact, uh, Thomas Vogler has kept his overall lead by 15 seconds. And on a similar situation back in 04 against Lance Armstrong, he kept it by, I think it was 22 seconds. And uh, that man won't give up, will he? No, he won't. And I tell you what, we're going to see a great battle tomorrow. And uh, just be careful tomorrow. It may well be the still uh, the Schleck 1-2, because Andy Schleck... <laughs> Andy Schleck's brother, Frank, had a very easy ride here this afternoon. And he's won on Alp Duez before. Well, let's have a look at the results then on this amazing day, living up to the Alps for sure. Schleck wins 2.07 in the end over Bro Frank, 2.15 over Cadell Evans, 18 over Ivan Basso, 2.21 over Thomas Voigtler. Pierre Roland, Voigtler's teammate, was six. Cunigo, seventh. Tyre Rain Talame of, Fra of the French team was eighth. Tommy D had a terrific ride today, and the Garmin Cervello boys, Christian van der Velde there as well, have probably increased their lead tonight in the Tour de France team race. So they'll be as pleased as everybody else in the Tour at the top of the Glibier.